were the type that eclipsed the room I was the one who arrived too soon But no one would ever bet against us If they saw us exchanging glances I was too busy to fall in love You were too busy to break my heart Nobody else was there to stop us Nobody else is there to want us Now we go on and on with this poor love song We've been working on far too long, baby Do you still remember when our hearts turned up spontaneously? On and on like a marathon We keep running from fighting for something Something to remind us that we're better than this poor love song. Hi everyone and welcome back to Shells Glam Home. Well today guys I'm excited to share another episode of Fall in Love with Fall and this time I'm going to show you two pottery barn dupes. I hope you enjoy. So today I'm going to show you how I'm going to create the cozy pumpkin cushions as well as the chopping board from Pottery Barn. Now I fell in love with the beautiful pumpkin chopping board. Now we have Pottery Barn here in Australia but we only get selected things and so here on the US website this is in US dollars and this is virtually nearly double the price guys for me to even consider bringing it here to Australia. So I wanted to show you today how I'm going to create this chopping board for less than $15. Now I head into Spotlight and I wanted to pick up some supplies. Now I'm first of all here in the plywood section guys. I was really drawn to these particular pieces because they were actually quite thin but I also could cut them out with some sharp scissors. also picked up one of these craft boards now I love the thickness of this as well and I knew that I could also cut this out with scissors Now I was after some of that boucle fabric that is very popular at the moment, you know the teddy bear look. So I started first of all guys, I seen this throw blanket which was only $15 and I considered getting that to cut up. I then headed into the materials section and they were having a sale so I ended up getting a meter here. Now all the fleece was 30% off this day so it actually worked out cheaper. So once I was home, I started first of all with the craft board. Now I had this cute little pumpkin hanger that I got from Amazon last year and I'm going to use that as my template. So once I've seen it guys, I actually decided I wanted my pumpkin to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to use this as a guide and I'm going to freehand a pumpkin around the outside.
So taking my scissors, I'm going to cut this out. Now bear in mind guys, have very sharp scissors here to get through this type of material. Once I cut it out, I then took my rubber at the end of my pencil and I rubbed out the trace marks. I then took some sandpaper guys and I just want to go around the edges of the pumpkin to smooth out the finish. the creative part comes into it guys. I was in Kmart recently and looking at their contact paper and they have some contact paper that looks like stained wood and I knew this would be perfect for what I had in mind. Now the best thing about this contact paper, it comes with those grid lines at the back guys, so you can definitely get a straight line. So what I did is I just counted three rows and I cut strips to size. So this is just basically peel and stick guys and it was so so much fun. I didn't have to paint anything and all I had to do is use some scissors and I love how it came. Once I was happy with the result I then trimmed off any excess on the sides. I then took some of this dollar store rope and I just tied a shoestring bow and I'm going to place that on the stem. I'm now going to start on my pottery barn pumpkin. Now off camera I cut some fabric in a large square. Now the bigger the pumpkin, the bigger the square. So basically I didn't even measure anything here guys. I just went, yep, that looks about the right size. Now I was having a little bit of problem with my scissors going a bit blunt here, but I wasn't concerned about the edges because they'll be tucked away. some hobby fill I actually cut up an old cushion and I'm going to fill as much as I can into the middle. I'm then going to take an elastic band and we're going to pull it up like putting a ponytail in hair and pull it all together. Now I left a little gap on the side so I continue to add more of it inside. So here is how it's looking. At the moment, it looks a little bit like a shower cap, but we are going to change that. Now you're gonna tie string across the middle and then you're gonna do it in the opposite direction. You're going to continue to add the string until it looks like a pumpkin.
trimmed off any excess string now I'm gonna make the stem now this is just from a previous project I had I had an old paint roller and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some more of that jute string and off camera I hot glued it around and around until the entire thing was completely covered simply hot glued it to the top. Now remember that piece of plywood that I got? I'm then going to take this chopping board that I got from Amazon last year and use that as a template as well and I'm going to trace it out. scissors once again I'm going to cut this out now guys if you have super sharp scissors or something that is a little bit sharper than your normal scissors I definitely recommend this here Once I cut it out, I'm then going to take this gorgeous blue spray paint. I took it outside off camera, guys, and gave it two coats. It was years ago, but how can I forget? We were 16. Now, using the same method as the first pumpkin chopping board, I am going to take some more of that Kmart contact paper and place it across the pumpkin. a shoestring bow to the top. So guys, here are my Pottery Barn inspired DIYs. I'm so happy with how these came. So guys, I truly love Pottery Barn decor, but I just don't like the hefty price tag on most of their items, guys. I wanted to show you today that you could get the look for less and do it on an extremely small budget. I wanted to show you that anyone could have a go at these DIYs and still get that designer look. But if you only 
So this chopping board cost me less than $15 to make and overall the pumpkin was about $12. I really love how this came guys. I was so excited to create this. I, I didn't want to do something that was going to be too time consuming so I loved the idea that I didn't have to paint the pumpkin chopping board. I also didn't have to stain. I didn't have to use any stain in the creation and I love that anyone could have a go at this. This was just a simple and easy DIY. It was years ago but how can I forget We were 16 up all night Love and heartbreak was our life I was at the wrong place at the right time so guys, I just want to put it out there that this obviously is not a real chopping board. It's not something that I'm going to use. It's for decor purposes only. And I know most of my lady friends out there will totally relate that we like to look at things, not necessarily use them. So if that is you, this is the perfect DIY for you. about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies and you took my hand said let's leave now so thank you so much for watching guys I truly hope you've enjoyed the video I hope I've inspired you when it comes to doing a pottery barn DIY So don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Share the video as many times as you can. And I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of Shell's Glam Home family. So don't forget, guys, I'll be back Sunday morning, 8.30 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time for another video here at Shell's Glam Home. So I hope you all have an amazing rest of the week and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.